welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about how I was able to start a business at the age of 23. All right, so if you want to know how I was able to do it and to start from scratch, just keep on watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Alright, so if you don't know yet, I actually own a travel agency, a travel and tours business here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So I offer travel packages to Boracay, to Palawan, Ilocos, and many places in the Philippines. Alright, so how did I start? I just want to be quick because I'm just using my break time to film this. So the first one is I traveled a lot. So for me, I think for you to be able to make a business you have to study it really well. You have to experience it yourself. So I joined a lot of joiners, packages, um, joiners tours with other people, with strangers because I was single. I am still single. I, I used to travel with a friend, but later on I joined these tours alone. So joiners, joiners tours are like they're going to rent a van and they're going to gather like at least 10 to 14 people to fill the van and then they will be paying this amount per person so that um so that it will be affordable unlike a private tour where you have to rent the whole van and the tour guide and the driver on your own um those 10 to 14 people will be sharing their expenses all right, so that's number one, I traveled a lot. And number two, I found out about the expenses. So since I was, yeah, I was kind of friendly and really extrovert that time that I was able to um, build a connection or friendship with the tour guide that time. And I was sitting behind his, his seat and accidentally I saw his notebook where all the expenses were written and I was surprised to know that they could get a lot of profit of money from this business so there came an idea that I can do this too because I've been to so many tours places and I'm pretty sure that it will be easy for me because I'll, I'm already doing it I'm definitely doing it for myself, not for the business. All right, and number three, I studied everything. I studied the map, I studied like the accommodation, the roads, how to go there. I studied everything. Number four, I did a lot of research and calculations. And when I say calculation, I had to do like hundreds of them. Like what if I book this hotel, but how about this cheaper hotel? How about this more expensive hotel? More expensive but quality hotel. And I had to make those quotations over and over again before I could really release the cheapest one on the Facebook account of my business. All right, and number five, I thought about a name and a slogan. Is it slogan? Yeah, and I told my sister, let's go, let's go to Starbucks. I'm just going to brainstorm about the name of my business. I sounded crazy because what business are you talking about? But I just sat there like squeezing my brain out of a name that would suit a travel and tourist business that's owned by a 23 year old girl all right and just to be clear i'm not 23 years old now i am 27 years old but it's 2020 and i started my business in 2016 so it's four years now all right and number six i started with a familiar place um my father's family is from Quezon province so i thought about the first place that i'll be going to or the tour that i'll be going to will be in Quezon i did the Pahias festival i invited like 15 friends to come with me and there it started number seven is i found some suppliers suppliers are your drivers your van rentals um accommodation like hotels um pension like cheap accommodation expensive accommodation i found everything i researched i called i emailed everything all right and number eight 
I asked and invited friends over and over again. So my business started on the Facebook page and I will be showing here or here the link. All right, so Facebook and I had to like send them all in the messenger, like please like my page or this and that. Then, oh, would you like to come to this tour? And then I had to send them all the packages that I have. And some of them really did not support me. Someone even commented, is, is this because you're desperate to travel that you're doing this tour because you don't have a boyfriend anymore and you just want people to come with you? Like, I know people were doubting me because I was just starting, but I did not care. All right, and number nine, it expanded and I offered more places. So I started with just Lokban, with just land tours, but later on, I also offered domestic flights like Boracay, Palawan, and yeah, many other places. And lastly, and surprisingly, I don't know why this is my last step, I registered my business at DTI or Department of Trade and Industry. And I will be sharing more of that in a bit. All right, picking up where we left off, I registered my business at DTI, and DTI is where you register the name of the business. So remember, my step number five was to think of a name, and I squeezed my brain out to think of weekend warrior travel and tours. But you guys, when you go to DTI and you have a name on your mind, it's not going to be the name of your business because I think 99% someone already got that name and I did not know that no one told me that so I had to stay there for about two hours thinking of another name um, so from weekend wire travel tours which I've already used for almost a year because my business has been operating for a year I had to change to another name which is it became WWTT Working Wonder Travel and Tour. So that's my registered business name. Um, it sounded ugly. I just wanted to keep the the initial WWTT Weekend Warrior Travel and Tours and I just want to get out of DTI because I, I've been there for a long time, like two hours. I just want to get out of there. Um, what are the requirements that I brought? I brought my ID. I think that was SSS ID and passport and I filled out a form and I had to pay like a thousand pesos because it, the money that you'll be paying will depend on the scope of your business. Is it international, just national, like local within the city, things like that. So I paid for 1,000 pesos and this registered name will be mine for five years and after five years it will expire and I have to renew it again. So yeah, remember, just a tip, before you go to DTI, you should prepare at least 10 names or 20 names if you can so you'll have a backup if someone already got that name prepare money and your ID it's very very easy to to register your business at DTI and not that's not even the real thing yet like it's not because you registered your business at DTI you're already legit because you still have to register to Barangay Municipal Hall and BIR the most painful one is paying the taxes and I guess I'll be talking more about that in another vlog because this is already a lot okay so it took me a while before I could share this because I thought I'm not really in the place to share about how I had a business and I don't want to be I don't want to look like I'm boasting about a business because yeah it's not really something to boast about I'm proud of it but yeah i'm still learning at this time so if you have any more questions and if you have some suggestions just don't forget to leave a comment and i'll be answering them bye